Bismillah, alhamdulillah. Is God one? Is God two? Is he three? Is he more or less? We hear strange answers. Some people tell us that God is three, but he's one. If you go to take a math test and you put one plus one plus one equals one, you're going to fail that test. Because in reality, if we go back to the revelation, if we go back to the Old Testament, the New Testament, or the Quran, we only find one answer. And what is that answer? If we go to the Old Testament, book of Isaiah, chapter 44, verse 6, it reads, Thus says the Lord, the King of Israel, and its Redeemer, the Lord of the hosts, I am the first and I am the last. Besides me, there is no God. It's only one God. If we look in the New Testament, in the book of Mark, chapter 12, verse number 28, the disciples of Jesus, they ask Jesus, which is the first commandment or the most important of all the commandments? And Jesus answers them with what? He says, the first of all the commandments or the most important of them here, O people of Israel, is that the Lord is your God and the Lord is one. Jesus again confirms the word, the Lord is one. Throughout the Bible, if you look at the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6, verse 4, you find, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Throughout the Old Testament and the New Testament, I challenge you to look through it and you will never find any explicit verses referring to God as three. Rather, what you will find clearly is God is one. There are verses where Jesus may say, Me and the Father, we are one. And they are together. As a nation may say, we are one nation under God. But it doesn't mean we're individually one individual. Rather, it means we're united in our message. A football team may say, we are one team, we are one. But it doesn't mean that they're all one individual. This is to show unity of message. What we find in the Old Testament and in the New Testament and in the Quran is, قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدْ Say, Allah, your Creator, your God is one. This is the universal message of God. And that's why I encourage everybody to reject whoever makes God into multiples and many and go back to Tawheed, the oneness of God, and to read the final message, the Qur'an, to learn about who our Creator is.